Well guys, last time when we lived off, uh, we was in the Johnny Surihan past, saw how he was fighting uh, corporate, I mean against the corporate uh, wars because he, he was a rebel, called so-called terrorist, so that was nice, that was good, now we are back in the V's head, uh, and uh, in this part I want to explore Night City a little bit more, so bear with me if you want to see more of my content if you like my content just leave a like subscribe whatever you want and thank you for stopping by and watching i know i'm new to this and i'm getting used to everything so thank you for stopping by again <laughs> let's go on and dig in what are you doing vic how is he Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Guess we are taking our time to recover. Because we did get shot in the head, by the way. V, you in there? How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Here's a ring. But I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Hey, kill me. Night City looked different. Okay. Night City looked different. Strange. And I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. That was Johnny Hate. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Who? Me and who, Vic? Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, the terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. What is then? First time I've uh, ever seen you scared. No doubt you can top the terrorist in my in my brain. V? Well, I think you can top the terrorist in my brain. Nope. Maybe. The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. It's that scary. V, it's important you get all this. Uh, you will fix me up, right? No, you're talking bullshit. No, let's let's do. You fix me up, right? Vic, if I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Why do I have to die? I want to know the deeds, all of them. Okay. Don't admit a thing. Not one deed. Okay. There was... 
is a construct, a psyche on the chip, out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. Well, that's nice. Uh, you don't just die and they raise up from the grave, so I'm Frankenstein. <laughs> Great, nice. You're Dr. Victor and I'm your monster. Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? Well, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. So what am I supposed to do? Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? He just darn left. He was hanging. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. We are in a bad position you right died. now. I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. It sounded like a hundred year old small man. Hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Okay. I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Nice, it's a memento. Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Okay. Misty, wait. Uh about Jackie. Yeah? He was my best friend. He talked about you a lot. I'm fucking sorry he's gone. Well, he talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been different. But right now you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Okay, let's sleep. Oh just passed out. All cold. Nice. 
I don't know if you can hear it, but it's pouring outside, like raining, like crazy. Here comes the Johnny. Get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Don't kill me. I'm good one. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? I don't smoke. Don't smoke, kids. Yep. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of joint toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! They are not getting along right now. Oh. Don't do me like Who that, you Johnny. For? Start talking. Fuck. He is realizing now. No, wait. What's happening? Oh. I guess he is a construct and he is not realizing that he is inside our brain right now. So it needs some time to process I'll everything. Control. No. I'll find a way. No, no. No. You hear me? Don't do that, man. Yeah, he knocked himself all cold. See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. <laughs> bitch slap. You did get bitch slap. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Get out of my head. Leave me alone. Get out. Just get the fuck out. Let to the head only thing that can fix this. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain. No like that. Oh, fuck me. Guess we are a little bit better right now. He's gone. Act two. You're progressing. And we have the control over our character, that's good. Johnny is he's, he's not bitch slapping us no more. Looks like a nice day. So. Uh, we can leave an apartment open or even try to put some clothes on. Let's see what we are dressed like. Nothing. Naked. Naked. We have some pants. Okay, we can use them. That's not bad. Nah, too shabby. Let's see what we have in a wardrobe. Okay. Baseball hat. And boots, biker boots, biker jacket, shoulder straps, common shoulder straps, okay, not bad. Where is the jacket? Uh, there it is. And we need some t-shirt. Yeah, tank top. 
let's thank it. And boots. 15, 17 armor. 3. Yeah. That will be okay. For now. And we have all of our guns. Nothing was loosed. Okay. This is a uh, weapon stock. So we can check our stash. See what's what we have. These streetwear pants. So they he is uh, with pants. I want to see what is this. We tank stop. Nice. Let's do that. E street kicks. Okay, we have gear now. No. T-shirt. Okay. I love what it says. Change. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. And his kicks. Nice. Okay. We can check our email. Let's do it. Man, it was a really nice ride so far. Uh, dear sir, ma'am. Our records show that you have not received this month rent payment for your unit mega building. Okay, we are past due. We are owing some money to, I suppose, that nice lady. Let's drink this. Cola Classic. Get some, some healing on. Find something to eat. Optional. Do we have something to eat? Uh, no backpack, yes. Uh, some consumables. Cactus juice. Throw shoves a hub ketchup. I cannot pronounce that. Ramen. Ramen noodles. Okay. Turbo ammo optional. Where do we have ammo? Do we have ammo? Let's see. Do we have ammo? No. Maybe a little bit of grenades. That's it. No, we don't have anything. So let's go out. See what's new in the city. Takemura! Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Why would you, I do that? Maybe another time? Excuse well, you. Excuse me, excuse you, dude. Uh, okay, well, let's see what he has to offer. Mm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Good. And yeah. Oh. By the way, we are dying. Yeah, that's it. The relic is having malfunction. What? Uh, Mega Generation Force Where unit. Your you? vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking man? garage. We wish you a pleasant you. day. Okay. Our Thomas Collective. Okay, first to come, great reality check with the socialist future of the world. Okay, something, something anti-capitalism stuff. What's this? Got another dry they bust someone. Way, nice they did bust someone. Okay, we have new mission: beat the brat, beat the brat on Rancho Colorado. Or another? Okay. Open up. Barry, we know you're in there. We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. Something's happening We're here. We're worried. No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing yeah. attention Yeah, as he said previous, he uh, if you're can listening you in people's conversation or something, or the last. they you can get 
uh, dialogue options and maybe give they will give you a missions. So let's see what they have to offer here. Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. Just keep on living. Stop mining other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do or should be uh, shouldn't be talking to cops? Uh, let's be helpful here. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. I struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrona. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Did you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure. Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Oh, dude. Well, Mendes here is not very compassionate guy, so not good for you, bro. Let's check it. One, 